हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू करंट अफेयर एमसीक्यूज प्रोग्राम लेट्स बिगिन विद प्रीवियस डेज प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन वाज कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग द जियो सिंक्रोनस सैटेलाइट लॉन्च व्हीकल दैट इज जीएसएलवी वन जीएसएलवी इज रेफर्ड टू एज द वर्क हॉर्स ऑफ इसरो एंड इज प्राइमरीली यूज्ड टू लॉन्च सैटेलाइट्स इनटू लो अर्थ ऑर्बिट्स टू जीएसएलवी इज अ थ्री स्टेज लॉन्च व्हीकल दैट इंक्लूड्स एन इंडिजिनसली डेवलप्ड क्रायोजेनिक अपर स्टेज which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option b two only polar satellite launch vehicle or pslv it has also been called the work horse of isro for consistently delivering various satellites into low earth orbits that is less than 2000 km in altitude with a high success rate hence statement 1 is not correct it can take up to 1750 kg of payload to sun synchronous polar orbits of 600 km altitude sspo is synchronous with the sun that is they pass over an earth region at the same local time every day and geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle or gslv it is a three stage launch vehicle The first stage comprises solid booster second stage is a liquid engine and the third stage is a indigenously built cryogenic upper stage carrying cryogenic propellants hence statement 2 is correct it has been designed developed and operated by isro to launch satellites and other space objects into geosynchronous transfer orbits hence option b is the correct answer Now let's begin today's episode. First question is consider the following statements related to garlic production in India. One they grow best in well drained fertile loamy soil. Two India is the world's second largest garlic exporter. Three Kanthalur Vatavada Veluthulli is a GI tagged garlic from Karnataka. How many of the above statements is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none. The correct answer is option B only two. Botanically garlic is considered a vegetable as it has a bulb a tall stem and long leaves the distinctive smell of garlic and onion is due to the presence of sulfur containing chemicals garlic grows best in well drained fertile loamy soil with a ph range of 6 to 8 hence statement 1 is correct india is world's second largest garlic exporter with record high exports in 2023 due to supply chain issues in china hence statement 2 is correct kanthalur vatavada veluthulli a gi tag garlic from kerala is renowned for its strong aroma and flavor hence statement 3 is not correct grown in the high altitude areas of kanthalur and vatavada this small sized garlic is prized for its medicinal properties and culinary use hence option b is the correct answer next question is Consider the following statements related to the International Space Station. One, it orbits approximately 400 kilometers above the Earth. Two, it is a joint effort of the space agencies of the United States, Russia, Europe, Japan, and India. Which of the above statements is or are correct? Only one, only two, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option A, only one. The International Space Station is the largest man-made structure in space and was launched in 1998. It functions as a habitat for astronauts and has been continuously occupied since 2000. The ISS orbits approximately 400 kilometers above the Earth. Hence statement 1 is correct. The ISS is a joint effort of the space agencies of the United States NASA, Russia Roscosmos, Europe ESA, Japan JAXA and Canada CSA and not India. Hence statement 2 is not correct. The ISS aims to advance our understanding of space and microgravity, support new scientific research and exemplify international collaboration. Hence option A is the correct answer. Next question regarding open networked codes, which of the following statements is or are correct? One it enables litigants to respond to summons, submit documents, reschedule hearings and even appear in court from anywhere. to it helps lawyers manage their schedules more efficiently with a smart calendar that uses algorithms to find the best times for future hearings three for court staff it eliminates manual data entry entirely providing a rule based case specific e filing system that reduces the need for manual review 
select the correct answer using the codes given below. 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only, 1 only or 1, 2 and 3. The correct answer is option D, 1, 2 and 3. Open network codes or ON codes. For litigants, it has been designed to allow access from anywhere, allowing them to respond to summons, submit documents, reschedule hearings and even appear from anywhere. Hence, statement 1 is correct. For lawyers, it allows them to better coordinate their schedule through a new smart calendaring solution that algorithmically identifies the most suitable time for future hearings. Hence, statement 2 is correct. For court staff, it does away with manual data entry completely, offering instead a rule-based, case-specific e-filing workflow aimed at reducing the amount of manual scrutiny required. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Hence, option D is the correct answer. Next question, consider the following statements. 1. The Social Progress Index assesses the performance of states and union territories on aspects of social development and ranks them. 2. The lower social progress rankings for southern states underline the critical need for focused development strategies to address performance on socio-economic indicators. 3. Achieving beta convergence in economic performance and human development is crucial for the southern regions to realize their potential in a developed Indian economy. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option A, only one. The Social Progress Index or SPI assesses the performance of states and union territories on aspects of social development and ranks them relative to their performance with economic peers. Hence, statement one is correct. The lower social progress rankings for eastern states further underline the critical need for focused development strategies to address performance on socio-economic indicators. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Achieving beta convergence in economic performance and human development is crucial for the eastern regions to realize their potential in a developed Indian economy. Hence, statement 3 is not correct. Beta convergence is a form of convergence that suggests that poorer regions are growing faster than richer ones. Hence, option A is the correct answer. Next question, consider the following statements. 1. Ukraine holds the largest territory in Europe after Russia. 2. Germany is the largest economy in Central Europe. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1. Only 2. Only both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option A. 1 only. Ukraine holds the largest territory in Europe after Russia. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Poland is the largest economy in Central Europe. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Hence, option A is the correct answer. Next question, consider the following statements. Statement 1. Reserve Bank of India and the Securities and Exchange Board of India have developed several guidelines and recommendations on climate-related financial risk for their regulated entities. Statement 2. Banks often have incomplete asset-level location data that fails to capture the exposure of adaptive capacity to climate change risks such as heat waves, floods, precipitation and drought. Which one of the following is correct in respect of the above statements? Both statements are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1. Both statements are correct and statement 2 is not the correct explanation for statement 1. Statement 1 is correct, but statement 2 is incorrect or statement 1 is incorrect, but statement 2 is correct. The correct answer is option A. Both statements are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1. RBI and the Securities and Exchange Board of India have developed several guidelines and recommendations on climate-related financial risk for their regulated entities. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Banks often have incomplete asset-level location data that fails to capture the exposure of adaptive capacity to climate change risks such as heat waves, floods, precipitation and drought. Hence, statement 2 is correct. So, both statements 1 and 2 are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1. Hence, option A is the correct answer. Next question, consider the following statements. 1. The previous service tax law laid the foundation for goods and services tax, which adopted many of its concepts. 2. While many GST issues have been resolved effectively, related party transactions have remained unsettled for years. 3. Compared with transfer pricing provisions under the income tax law, RPT is well defined with a complete valuation framework. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option C, all three. 
the erst while service tax law formed the basis of the gst law which has borrowed most of the concepts from it hence statement 1 is correct while other litigious issues in gst have been addressed with relative efficacy related party transactions have been an area that continues to remain unsettled for years on end hence statement 2 is correct the absence of provisions on rpts under the erstwhile service tax law could be one of the key reasons for the far from ideal rpt provisions under the gst law compared with transfer pricing provisions under the income tax law rpt is well defined with a complete valuation framework hence statement 3 is correct hence option c is the correct answer Next question consider the following statement 1 China began economic reforms in 1978 starting with agriculture by dismantling the commune system introducing the household responsibility system and freeing most crop prices from government control statement 2 China is the hub of global manufacturing and its per capita income is almost 5 times that of India in dollar terms which one of the following is correct in respect of the above statements both statements are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1 both statements are correct and statement 2 is not the correct explanation for statement 1 statement 1 is correct but statement 2 is incorrect or statement 1 is incorrect but statement 2 is correct the correct answer is option b both statements are correct and statement 2 is not the correct explanation for statement 1 China began economic reforms in 1978 starting with agriculture by dismantling the commune system introducing the household responsibility system and freeing most crop prices from government control hence statement 1 is correct China's peasantry doubled its real incomes in just 6 years increasing by more than 14% per annum during 1978 to 1984 China is the hub of global manufacturing and its per capita income is almost 5 times that of India in dollar terms. So both statements 1 and 2 are correct and statement 2 is not the correct explanation for statement 1. Hence option B is the correct answer. Next question consider the following statements. One the first edition of the Voice of the Global South Summit the theme an empowered global south for a sustainable future was recently convened by India. To India has expressed willingness to contribute 25 million dollars to a social impact fund to accelerate progress in digital public infrastructure in the global south. 3 the Prime Minister of India has proposed a global development compact which will be based on India's development journey and experiences of development partnership. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option B, only two. Voice of the Global South Summit the third edition of the Voice of the Global South Summit with the theme an empowered global south for a sustainable future was recently convened by India hence statement 1 is not correct India has expressed willingness to contribute 25 million dollars to a social impact fund to accelerate progress in digital public infrastructure in the global south hence statement 2 is correct The Prime Minister of India has proposed a global development compact which will be based on India's development journey and experiences of development partnership. Hence statement 3 is correct. Hence option B is the correct answer. Last question consider the following statements. One mediation refers to a voluntary process in which an impartial third party mediator assists disputing parties to reach a mutually acceptable agreement. Two insolvency and bankruptcy code explicitly provides for the national company law tribunal to refer matters to mediation which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option a one only mediation refers to a voluntary process in which an impartial third party mediator assists disputing parties to reach a mutually acceptable agreement hence statement one is correct Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code does not explicitly provide for the National Company Law Tribunal to refer matters to mediation. Hence statement 2 is not correct. However, the IBC does not prohibit settlements and in fact acknowledges and encourages them in accordance with the law. Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code of India constituted an expert committee to examine the scope of use of mediation in respect of processes 
under the insolvency and bankruptcy court 2016 the said committee categorically opined that incorporation of mediation into indian insolvency regime will require specific tailor made mechanism to suit each insolvency resolution process or its constituents which should be in line with the object of the insolvency and bankruptcy code hence option a is the correct answer now moving on to practice question consider the following statements about the one nation one product initiative to centralize transportation systems into single hubs one the initiative aims to integrate roadways railways airways waterways and ropeways into centralized hubs and terminals across india two two pilot hubs will be developed in katra and tirupati with additional hubs in varanasi and nagpur which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one in two or neither one nor two send the answer of this question in the comment section stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications